the reason we're doing this demonstration is I'm using something that's a novel substance in many people. It's called uh, Gerovitol. This was a Romanian anti-aging compound. So what's in the bag here is amino acids, Gerovitol, and I, I picked a couple of other components of the Myers cocktail. But the one thing I wanted to demonstrate is I'm going to get intravenous dose of stabilized procaine. That's what Gerovitol is. It is a stabilized procaine that was created by a chemist. And a Romanian doctor, Anna Aslan, started big anti-aging clinics in Romania that John F. Kennedy was even rumored to have gone to and many famous politicians for anti-aging purposes. She has documented cases where this substance in inter intravenous injection, intramuscular injection, and also uh, topical form and tablet form cause anti-aging, relief of arthritis, relief of cardiovascular disease, relief for dementia, help in other neurological ailments. So it has a wide uh, variety of uses. Inside the body, it's broken down to certain types of B12 compounds, and the original chemist that created it wanted it to be used for general anesthesia, but instead the only body of doctors that started using it were dentists. Then Dr. Aslan discovered you could make a stabilized type of it that helps for anti-aging purposes. And in our practice, Carrie doubles as running the IV program and also she even uses this in some of the aesthetic treatments. So I'm showing a demonstration today of how safe this is because I took a 5cc vial of this and we added it to my IV bag. So today's theme is if it's good enough for the doctor, I certainly feel comfortable using on the patients. Now, the second phase of our video, I'm going to show something that I'm very excited to show people the safety of, and that is direct intravenous ozone injection into my vein. I think. Here we have direct intravenous ozone. You're going to see me inject it right into my bloodstream. You do a CC at a time here and there. You can see it going in, right? So, this is a protocol that has been made famous in the United States by certain doctors. And the same medical team went to Sierra Leone. A physician stabbed himself with a needle or some sharp object that was contaminated with Ebola. So he did this exact protocol and cured his own Ebola virus. What's fascinating is the government was not happy that Ebola was being cured, so they outlawed, outlawed the use of ozone. And uh, it's because the World Health Organization pays the government a very high amount of money every year to pay the grave diggers. It's, it's actually quite ridiculous and I can document that. But you see I'm injecting it right here and uh, I'll let you guys know how great I feel later but it's causing me no problems. Direct installation I have come to the conclusion is even more powerful than the auto hemotherapy which is where you put it into the bag and you know the ozone mix with the blood cells this is direct application as you can see I'm doing a lot of people and Carrie can attest to that a lot of people when they see ozone bubbles in their IV when we're doing treatments they freak out and I'm doing this as absolute proof that this can be done safely and I'm self administering it so yes this is direct installation and I'm gonna be proud to show myself as my own first patient when we post this video.